All right, here we go. 4.3 covalent bonding. Things to remember about covalent bonding, unlike ionic, which electrons are transferred, covalent bonding is all about sharing electrons. Now, covalent bonds tend to be formed when two nonmetals form a bond. And they share electrons so that both atoms in the bond have a full outer shell. Now, there's different kinds of covalent bonds. The first one is nice and simple, a single bond, where each atom provides one electron. For example, here in hydrogen chloride, right, the hydrogen is providing one electron, the chlorine is providing the other electron, and that would be a single bond. So there's one shared pair equals two shared electrons. And you can be asked on a test questions about either one. They'll ask how many pairs of shared electrons, one, or how many shared electrons total, which would be two. If we're drawing a Lewis structure of this, right, you would draw like so, H, bringing one electron to the party. The chlorine is bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Or it can be drawn like this. Chlorine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the hydrogen brings one, which the electron being drawn is an X. So it can be drawn either way. Okay, and the double bond, each atom provides two electrons. All right, so here's an O2 molecule, and we can see this oxygen is providing these two electrons for the bond, and this oxygen is providing these two electrons for the bond. So there's two shared pairs, which is equal to four shared electrons. Sorry about that there, typo. Okay, And this would be drawn like this. There's oxygen, one, two, two shared pairs between them, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Finally, a triple bond, each atom provides three electrons. And we can see here there's one, two, three shared pairs, or six shared electrons. So let's see, one, two, three, four, this is nitrogen. So, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. Now another way each of these can be drawn when we draw a Lewis dot structure is we don't have to actually draw all the electrons. I can do, say H, C, L. And this line represents a pair of shared electrons, or two. Here for a double bond, I can say O, two lines. Each line represents a shared pair of electrons. There's two lines, so there's two shared pairs or four shared electrons. Now for the nitrogen, and one, two, three. Three lines for the triple bond. All right, so look at a couple of examples like chlorine gas. We have to remember our Brinkelhoffs again for these, right? B-R-I-N-C-L-H-O-F, two, 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 two. Two, two, two. So chlorine gas, it's Cl2, and Cl, Cl. Hydrogen gas, H2. Ta-da. Now with these, why is it only a single bond? Well, chlorine has seven valence electrons, so there's really only room for one more. It comes along the other chlorine, with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons, really only room for one more. So they decide to share just these two electrons, making that a single bond. Ammonia, NH3. Well, here's our nitrogen, right? With one, two, three, four, five, valence electrons, and each hydrogen has one, like 
so the hydrogen is happy. Each one of them has a full valence shell, which is two for hydrogen, and the nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also draw this like N H H H. Okay? It's usually important, you don't have to do it hundred percent of the time, but it is usually important to show this lone pair of electrons. Lone pair. Think of it as an alone pair of electrons because the nitrogen alone has these two electrons. Finally, methane, which is CH4. Carbon has four valence electrons. Normally we would draw it like this, but carbon does something special and takes one of these electrons and say, hey, you go over here. So we end up with C, one, two, three, four valence electrons, and each hydrogen brings one to the party. Right now each hydrogen has two valence electrons showing, and the carbon has eight, so it's stable and happy. All right, question time. Covalent bonds are formed between which type of atoms? Why do atoms share electrons? And how many more electrons does chlorine, a single chlorine atom, need to have a stable electron configuration? If you can't answer those, go back and watch the video again, and I will see you guys at school.